Tonight, a man is in the York County Jail after deputies say he shot and killed two people, then got into a gunfight with deputies. We first told you about the death investigation on Rivercrest Road is breaking news last night at 10 and 11. Now, authorities say it's connected to another shooting and robbery and officer-involved shooting. Luckily, no deputies were hurt, but the suspect was hit. Eyewitness News reporter Stephanie Tinoco has been pushing deputies for more information all day. Stephanie, what have you learned? Liz, well, there's a lot with this investigation, and right now, uh, despite having the suspect in custody, they said they will continue investigating this. And right behind me, this is where it happened around 745 last night on uh, Rivercrest Drive, and everything just escalated from there. Oh, it was several. I mean, several pop, pop, pop. Three different scenes, two people dead, one suspect. You don't know what possesses people to do that. You know, that's the big question. The York County Sheriff's Office responded to this home on Rivercrest Road in Rock Hill Friday night. The two men shot eventually died, turning this case into a double homicide. You can see the crime tape from here, but you really couldn't tell nothing. Deputies identified 28-year-old Jamar Frazier Neely as a suspect the same night. They say about an hour and a half later, deputies got a call about a burglary with shots fired at a home on Red River Road. Thanks to a witness, deputies were able to track Neely nearby and try to pull him over. But at some point, that's when Neely and the sheriff's deputies exchanged fire. They shoot, we're going to shoot back. Uh, and fortunately, uh, the courageous men who were involved last night uh, in the face of gunfire, in the face of danger, continued to pursue the suspect until he was taken into custody. Neighbors still have a lot of questions about the events that led up to the gunfire. But the biggest question... I don't know why. Well, right now, SLED is investigating the officer-involved shooting and the sheriff's office, along with the coroner's office, investigating the double homicide. Liz? Thank you, Stephanie. And what can you tell us about the deputies involved in this case? Well, right now we're still working to find out how many deputies were involved in that shooting and uh, if they're being placed on administrative leave. Back to you. All right, Stephanie Tineco live in York County for us tonight. Thank you. This is the second officer involved shooting in York County within a week. Last weekend, a state trooper was shot after trying to pull over a driver on India Hook Road in Rock Hill. The bullet hit the trooper's bulletproof vest and he is okay. The trooper returned fire and hit the suspect and he is also expected to be okay.